we need to fuel our body. So the same way we think about fueling a car and we're giving a car petrol so that it can go forward, we need to give ourselves healthy nutrition, nutritional fuel to make sure that we can be healthy and continue moving forward. So I want to test how well you guys know what's healthy for you and what's not and what's going to be more beneficial for your body. So the first one I want to know is this more healthy or is this more healthy? There we go, that's a good answer. And let's go on to the next one. I want to know now, is this one more healthy or is this one more healthy? I'll give you some time and that's the one, there we go. And let's go on to our last one, most difficult one. Which one is more healthy? And it's that one over there, excellent, excellent. All right, guys, don't worry if you didn't get all of them right. Coach is going to make sure to teach you guys in the future which ones we should be using as good fuel and which ones are bad fuel. Okay? So what you guys are going to do now is we're going to play a game so you can show coach and you can help coach decide which of the food options are going to be better for coach to have before he goes to play sports. Okay? So all you need to do is tell coach which one you think is going to be better, make me more strong. Okay? So the first one, let's go. We, uh, coach wants to know which one is going to be better for us. Is it this one or is it this one? There we go, it's this one. That's definitely going to be more energy, hey? Okay, good start, good start. Let's go on to the next one. Which one's going to be better for me before I play some soccer? Is it this one or is it this one? Good job guys, that's very, very good. And let's go, the most difficult one, okay? Coach wants to know this time, this one or this one? So if coach is playing netball, which one does he think is gonna be most beneficial for him? And it's this one, good job guys, good job. Awesome stuff. That was a lot of fun. Boys and girls, if you got some of them wrong, don't worry. If you got all of them right, next time we're going to make it a lot more difficult little game. So, we're going to do another fun little quiz. So I need you to come up to the screen. Come close to the screen so you can see nicely because we're going to do a little game. So, Coach is going to see. Last week, we did a little game about deciding which food is healthier. Okay? So, Coach is going to have a food on this side and a food on this side. And you're going to tell me which one you think is the good fuel for our body. Okay? So, let's start off with the first one. Coach wants to know which one is more healthy. Is this one more healthy or is this one more healthy? I say it's this one. Yeah, I think so. And I want to ask the second one. Let's go. A little bit more difficult. I want to know is this one more healthy or is this one more healthy? This time, it's this one. Good job, guys. That's excellent. And let's go. Last one. I think we can make it a bit more difficult. Okay, let's go. Is this one more healthy or this one? I'll give you a bit more time, and it's this one. <laughs> Excellent, guys. That's very impressive. Good job. Guys, so, well done on that game, boys and girls. You did very well. If you didn't get all of the answers correct, don't worry. Next time, we'll make sure to do even better because Coach is going to help us, okay? So, today, we're going to be discussing the differences between fruit and vegetables. So, guys, vegetables are parts of the plants that we eat that come from the stem or from the leaves or the roots. And fruits are part of the plants that we eat are, that are ripened, they are, come from where the flowers come from, and they have lots and lots of seeds. So we are going to play a little bit of a game now to see if you guys can tell me which one of the options is a fruit or if it's a vegetable, okay? So first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with carrots, okay? So nice and easy, we're going to have carrots in the middle, okay? And now coach wants to ask you guys, are carrots a fruit or are they a vegetable? So which column are we going to put them in? Are they going to go over there? Or they're gonna go over there. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna give you five seconds. And it's a vegetable. Good job, guys. Good job. So we must remember the reason a carrot is a vegetable is because it grows under the ground. So it grows under the ground because it's a root. So that means that we're eating the roots of the plant, which is why it's a vegetable. Okay, so let's go on to another one. Let's make it a bit more difficult. This time we're gonna have grapes. Some grapes in front of Coach. And coach wants to ask you, do they belong in the fruit column or do they belong in the vegetable column? Let's see, I'll give you some time to think. There we go, where are we going to put the grapes? 
And they go in the fruit column. Excellent. And do we know why? Why did they go in the fruit column? It's because they've got seeds. That's the one. Each grape has got a seed inside. So that's why they are fruit. Okay, let's go on. We're going to make it even more difficult. Okay, so this time, Coach is going to do Popeye's favorite. He's going to have spinach. Okay, so we're going to have spinach in front. And Coach wants to know, all this spinach, is it going to go in the fruit column or in the vegetable column? Where are we going to put it? Which side? There we go. Think about it. Think about it. And we are going to put it on the vegetable side. Good job, guys. And that part is a vegetable because it's a part of a plant that is the leaf. Okay, so spinach is a leaf, which means that it's a vegetable. Okay, so that's why we're putting it on that side. Okay, let's go on to our next one, which is a strawberry. Okay, so one of Coach's favorites, a strawberry, nice red fruit. So, Coach wants to know, which side are we going to put it on? Is it going to go in the vegetables or is it going to go in the fruit? Let me see. Let's see if you can figure it out. Ask yourself, does it have seeds or does it have leaves or does it have stems? I think it has seeds, hey? Yes, it's got seeds. So, we're going to put it in our fruit column. Good job, boys and girls. So remember, because it's got all those seeds on the outside, a strawberry belongs in the fruit. Good job. Now I've got a big challenge for you. This one is challenging. This one gets to coach all the time. I want to know, is a tomato, so coach is going to have a tomato, and I want to ask you, does it go in the fruit column or does it go in the vegetable column? Think about this one for a little bit. Think about it. Think about it. Think about all the criteria. Is it a leaf? Is it a stem? Is it a root? Does it have seeds? Which one is it going to go into? And it's in a fruit column. Good job, boys and girls. I know that one's a little bit confusing, but we need to remember tomatoes have seeds. So that's why they're going to go into our fruit column. Well done, boys and girls. You guys show coach how smart you are and how well we know the difference between our fruit and our vegetables. Don't worry if you didn't get all of them correct. That's why we're here together so we can carry on our journey and we can learn more and more from each other. Okay? Fruits and vegetables. Okay? So, there's not only one way to make our reactions better. There are many ways. One of the best ways is if we eat nice and healthy. Okay? So, if we eat nice and healthy, it's going to make our brain work well and our body work well. Okay? So, our brain is just as important as our body when it comes to reacting. Okay? Because our brain needs to tell our body to move super fast. Okay? So, if you guys remember, we did speak about the difference between a fruit and a vegetable, okay? Fruits and vegetables are both parts of the plant, are both parts of the plant that we eat, okay? So, a fruit is a part of the plant that comes from the flowers and it has lots and lots of seeds. The vegetables are the parts of the plant that we eat that are leaves, stems and roots. Okay, so just to see if you guys understand and maybe test you out a little bit, we're going to play a little bit of a game. Coach is going to give you two fruits, two different fruits, and I want you to decide which one is a fruit or a vegetable. I'm going to ask you, okay? So, first one up, we are going to have on this side, I want us to have lettuce. Let's have lettuce over here. There we go. And on the other side, we are going to have peaches. Awesome. Okay, so we've got lettuce on this side and peaches on this side. And Coach wants to ask you guys, which one is a vegetable? So which one is a vegetable? I'll give you a little bit of time to think. Think about the things Coach said. And it's this one. Yes, lettuce is the vegetable. So the reason lettuce is the vegetable is because it is the leaf of the plant. Okay? And our peach, the reason it is a fruit is because it has a pip, which is like a seed. Okay, let's go on to the next one. A little bit more difficult. This side, we're going to have an onion. Okay, so a nice onion over here. And we're going to have a big watermelon on this side. Okay, so this time... Coach wants to ask you, which one is a fruit? Which one of the two is a fruit? Is it the onion or is it the watermelon? There we go. Let's some, have some time to think. And awesome. The fruit is the watermelon. And again, the watermelon, even though it grows by the ground, it's not a root. It has got seeds inside. So it's a fruit. All right. Good job. We are going to go on to another one. This is one of Coach's favorite ones. A little bit more difficult. Okay. So on this side, we are going to have potatoes. Okay, so potatoes, awesome ones. You can have baked potatoes or chips, anything you like. And on this side, we've got a pumpkin. All right, so it's far from Halloween, but this time we've got a pumpkin. 
Awesome. Coach wants to know from you guys, which one of the two is a fruit? Which one of the two is a fruit? Let's see if we can decide. Is it the potato or is it the pumpkin? Yeah, awesome stuff. It is the pumpkin. Okay, that one's very difficult because not many of us think that a pumpkin is a fruit. But the reason it's a fruit is because it has got lots of seeds, all right? And the reason our potato is a vegetable is because it grows underground and it is a part of the root of a plant. Awesome, guys. You guys did really well. I hope you enjoyed that game. If you got a little bit confused or you got some of the answers wrong, don't worry. Next time we're going to go through it and Coach will run through all the criteria again. I'm going to ask you a question. So I'm either going to ask which one is the fruit or I'm going to ask which one is the vegetable, okay? So, let's, let's try, just so you guys can see as an example, we're going to have, let's go up with our avocado on this side, okay? So we've got an avocado on this side, nice avocado, Coach loves the avocado, and on the other side we've got broccoli, okay? So we've got broccoli on this side, and we've got avocado on this side, awesome. Let's see, Coach's question for you guys is, which one is a fruit, okay? So let me remind you, we've got avocado and broccoli, okay? Which one of those is a fruit? And it's the avocado. Awesome stuff, guys. Okay, let Coach quickly remind you. Why is it, why is it a fruit? Does anybody know? Okay, a fruit it has got seeds, okay? So an avocado has got a pip, which is the same as a seed, okay? So that means it's a fruit. That's a good one. Let's go over to our next question, okay? This time we have got sweet potato on this side so one of coach's favorite the potato nice sweet one the best one and this side we've got a cucumber okay so cucumber over here and sweet potato over here coach wants to ask you this time which one again is the fruit can we tell coach which side is the fruit is the cucumber a fruit or is the sweet potato a fruit and it is a Cucumber, awesome stuff guys. And for the same reason, a cucumber, even though we don't always see them, they are seeds. You know when you guys cut it nice and thin and you can see the small seeds around in a circle, okay? And let's go over to the most challenging one. I hope you guys are doing well. If you've gotten some of them incorrect, don't worry. We are going to get better and better each week, okay? So let's go over to our most difficult. This time, we are gonna have corn on this side. So some minis, some corn over here. Okay, and on the other side, we're gonna have mushrooms. Okay, this one is difficult. We've got corn and we've got mushrooms. And coach wants to ask you guys, which one of these is a vegetable? Okay, think about it, think about it. Which one is a vegetable? And it is the corn, good job, it's the millies. So the reason that the corn is a vegetable is because it grows on the stem of a plant. So if we remember, fruits and veg are parts of plants that we eat, okay? And the vegetables are the leaves, the stems, and the roots, okay? So that means that the corn is a vegetable because it's part of the stem. But that one was a trick question because mushrooms are not a fruit or a vegetable because they are not a part of a plant that we eat. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to play a fun game and we're going to pretend to be chefs, okay? So, what's really nice about being a chef is worrying about making a healthy meal, okay? So today, we're going to see what Coach can find in his cupboard. So all the different food and all the different ingredients I can find in my cupboard. And what we're going to do is try and make the healthiest breakfast from the ingredients that Coach has. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly look around. I want you guys to first come to the screen. Come to the screen so you guys can see all of the ingredients we have today. Okay, so Coach is first gonna look at what we got here. What do we have in Coach's closet? Oh, oh, there's some oats. So we're gonna take some oats and throw the oats over there. And let's see what else we have. Oh, a pretzel. Awesome, let's throw a pretzel over there. Good job. And the last one is the almonds. Let's throw the almonds up there. Awesome stuff, guys. And let's see what we got. So now we've got three options. And coach wants to ask you guys, which one is the least healthy? So which one are we not gonna put in our breakfast this morning? Let's have a look. Let's think about it. Which one of these do you think is not gonna be nice in our breakfast? Hmm, I think, I think the one is the pretzel, okay? So out of those options, coach thinks that maybe the pretzel is one he can keep to eat later, maybe for dessert, okay? So what we're gonna do is let's see what else we got. 
So at the moment we've got oats and almonds. Those are what's in our breakfast, okay? So let's go on to the next one. Let's see. Oh, I can find some honey. Let's throw some honey. There we go, we got some honey. And let's see what else we got. Let's see. And oh, there's some milk. But guys, did you know there are lots and lots of different kinds of milk, okay? So you can get milk from cows, or you can get them from nuts, or even from soy, okay? So let's go and let's throw the milk. There we go. Now we've got some milk. And the last one we're gonna have is some sugar. Let's go find the sugar. And there we go. There's some sugar. Awesome. And let's have a look now at our next three ingredients. So we've got some sugar, some honey, and some milks. Let's think, what is going to be the best one? I can see there's two sweet options. So let's try and pick the healthier sweet option, okay? So let's look, let's look. Hmm. I think that what we're going to do is we're going to throw away or put back the sugar, okay? So we're going to take the sugar out because that one is the least healthy option out of those three, okay? And let's go on. We're going to find our last ingredients, okay? Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some apples, nice and fresh apples. Let's got some apples, awesome. And let's have some sweets, mmm, some sweets. There we go. And let me see what else we got. Our last one, let's have a look. Oh, and there's some walnuts. Let's grab those and up on the top. Awesome, guys. Let's have a look. So, let's have a look and see which one we think is going to be the least healthy for us. So which one is gonna be bad fuel, okay? So the fuel that we don't want in our body, okay? So let's look, think, think, think. Ah, I think it's quite an easy one, hey? I think we don't have any sweets in our breakfast, okay? We can have sweets later if we listen very nicely, all right? So, what we did now is we took a whole bunch of ingredients and we put them together from Coach's cupboard and we made a really nice breakfast, okay? So I want you guys quickly to have a look at what breakfast we made, but... In the future, when you guys make a nice breakfast, can you maybe send Coach a photo of your breakfast so I can see all the healthy meals we're eating, okay? Remember, you have to eat nicely before these lessons, else you're going to get super, super tired, okay? So yeah, have a look at our breakfast.